everyone this is satya prakash welcome to my channel this is part 25 of angular cli in this session we'll discuss what is the options used with the ng sharp command so before going through this part 25 please visit my part 24 of angular cli that is bundling in angular cli for for the performance you can get this video in my angular cli tutorial so guys i'll go to my presentation here so in this session what we'll discuss that is get the list of options that we can use with ng sharp command and how to know about the common options and their purpose so uh, here i'll show you that how to get the list of uh, options that we can use with ng sharp command so ng sharp and dash dash help so um, execute this command and we will check what are the options we, we can use with ng sharp command here So guys here you can see that these are the list of options we can use that is dash dash help dash dash open and dash dash port and dash dash watch right so with these options we can use with ng sharp command so the most important command that is how to build and launch the application in our default browser so the default browser for that is I want to open here ng sharp hyphen o or dash dash open and click enter. And to set your default browser, what I will do, we just go to control panel and and select the control panel, go to programs and default programs, right? and set your default program options here and you can see here my default browser is google chrome so in this way we can change your uh, default browser here like internet explorer Mac microsoft edge or uh, mozilla like this so i just close this and we need to uh, wait for that execution of ngsharp-o command so guys here we can see that our uh, uh, our code is compiled successfully and the server launches the application using our defa default browser that is chrome and this is uh, this is the output we have got in my home.component.html so here you can see that home works so next command we need to execute that is uh, i'll show you in my presentation here so first command is ng sharp dash dash help for get list list of options and second one is watch mode in we need to false so it will disable the run to build when the file changes so i'll go to my command prompt and exit from that server run and off so control c and ng sharp o and we need to click here yeah dash dash watch false and after then we need to click enter So guys here you can see that our uh, project is compiled successfully and server launches our application using the different default browser that is chrome and we can see the output that is the uh, home works right here, here we can see home works so what we'll do now i just make some changes here like uh, home works by satya right and save these changes and here you can see uh, there is no run the build build when the whenever the file changes because here watch mode set as false and if you reload this also you can see that there is no changes in the output that is the home works by satya it is the old output by home component html file that's because we have set our watch mode is false so ne our next command is and if you wa make watch mode is true you can mention here instead of false make it true so next one is live reload false so in my next command i just exit from it by 
pressing ctrl c and make it watch true and i need to make here live reload equal to false right and press enter here so what it will do it will run the build whenever the file changes but here whatever we have made changes after the changes inside the file it will not reload the application in the browser we should manually reload our page so we'll see what will happen here so our code is compiled successfully and we need to check the browser is uh, the server is uh, res responding to the port number 4200 and uh, it is launch our application using the browser called chrome here right so you can see that it will it now it shows the uh, right output that is home works by satya it is because we have set it was equal to true that means whatever changes made in our in our file it works so here what i'll do so works home works by satya and satya one i make here one right and make some changes here and go to the command prompt you can see that it will start build our application and it is compiled successfully but here and server is not uh, reload our reload the page here right it it is shows the old output as of now but our required output is home works by satya 1 Be, it is because we have set here uh, we have set the live reload equal to false that that's what it will reload this this page it disabled disabled that's why we need to reload the page manually so to reload the page we need to reload options here so it will reload so guys you can see that we have get the right right output that is home works by satya one so this is the work of the live reload option equal to false so if you want to make it true just replace with false it true that that will enable the reload the page on change of in on change method so how to change this port number so by default it is 4200 but here i want to make it my different port number so ng sub hyphen o and to change the port number we should mention here 4321 and press enter so he here we can see our application is compiled successfully and server is responding to the port number that is port 4321 so it will open the application in our chrome browser so we can see the output here so here you can see guys the port number is changed from 4200 to 4321 and it works as expected so if you go to employees it will show the employees works if you go to port number home home uh, component or home route so it will show the home, the output of home dot component dot html file and the port number is same uh, the port number is updated to 4321 so in this way we can change the port number so these are the most important options we can use with ng serve command uh, dash dash help it will get the list of options and dash dash watch it is you can set is false or true it will disable the run build whenever file changes and after executing this command whenever we change anything in our file so it will not build that changes using the command prompt uh, we should make it a true and like this if you execute this command using dash dash live hyphen reload and make it false then it will disable the reload the page on change so we should make it true so angular server will 
will reload the page on the change so we should not manually reload the page and how to change the port number we should mention here dash dash port and whatever the port number you need to mention here so in this way the port on which server is listening so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on dotnet dot and core c sharp sql server mbc github and devops so in this video what we have learned today how to get list of options that we can use with ng sharp command and what are the common options and their purpose so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day